Aloha everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel and uh, it's time for my candle empties. These are the uh, candles and wax melts that I have burnt during just the recently past month of July. And uh, we're just gonna show them and talk about them a little bit and uh, their performance, etc. Uh, first up, I went through this Bloom and Prosper candle that was $7.99 at Ross in some kind of a series. I don't know what kind of series, but it's number five. I don't have any scent notes on this either, but it is number five, Island Luau. And it's one of these pretty fair size candles. Nice packaging, nice pictures on it. It was white wax, three wick, 14.4 um, ounces. And uh, I didn't have any issues on the performance on this. I did have to uh, foil it to get it to pool out the first time, um, which is not uncommon with the size of candles for me. Sometimes even a three wick, um, I have to pull it out. But you also have to understand, I do live, and this affects the scent as well, I live in Waikiki and uh, my apartment is very open air. So like these jealousied windows on the lanai, the jealousied windows in the front of the apartment are never ever closed. So uh, unless there's a hurricane, literally. So there's always like a lot of ventilation, natural ventilation in this apartment. So I'm sure my scent throws are uh, weaker than they would be if I were somewhere where I, I was in an enclosed living airspace and maybe had air conditioning and you know, didn't have breezes, didn't have the trade winds wafting through my apartment all the time. Uh, so the price we pay, you know. <laughs> anyway, this Island Luau, it's, as you can imagine, it is a fairly generic, just sort of tropical fruit scent, really. And it is tropical fruits. Is there anything else in there but tropical fruits? I don't think so. I mean, it's like pineapple. It's, um, you know, that pineapple papaya, pineapple mango, sort of somewhat generic tropical drink mix that one gets. Like, I don't smell any ocean or anything else going on here, so... It was good, it was nice, it was, uh, it performed okay, except as I said, the first time I did have to um, foil it to get it to pool out all the way, but after that, it, it pulled out by itself. It was fine. That was nice. I think that was the second one I've had in that line. Um, it was a different number. Then I have this uh, one I got on clearance at TJ Maxx was only $8, originally 10, and God knows how much in a normal retail setting. Uh, it's a woodwick candle, the kind that crackles as it burns, and the scent uh, Tranquil Seas. Very pretty, sort of darker aqua sort of uh, wax in this with the wicks. As you can see, it was uh, not a totally clean burn, you know, there is some residue, but it was okay. And this is again, just, uh, I would say it was a little bit on the light side for me, maybe a four or five, like I could sort of maybe smell it. I could smell it when I was, you know, walking past it and a little bit in the environment, a little bit more in the bathroom, which is a more enclosed or smaller space anyway. And uh, what was notable about this, it is just a, it's a generic sea scent that also smells a little bit like baby powder. And if you know me, you know, I seem to smell baby powder in almost everything that's a sea scent. I don't know why that is, except it must be that what I'm picking up as baby powder, maybe is there intending to be a sand scent, right? You think, do you think that's it? I think that's it. I think it's what they're, you know, passing off as sand and everybody is, I guess, thinking it is sand or whatever. And it's just my, to my nose, something's, it doesn't smell like sand. It smells like baby powder. 
But I like baby powder, so I'm not complaining. Although, you know, baby powder and the ocean, I don't know that they go together necessarily. <laughs> sort of like chicken and waffles. I never got that either, personally. I just, I don't get it. Um, what I would say about this one, though, that was remarkable is I have had these kind of woodwick crackling candles before, and they, you know, they tend to crackle loudly at the beginning, and then they sort of taper off. It's very little crackling noise, very light, but kind of a pretty flame. Uh, this one, oh my gosh, was so loud. The whole candle, like it was insane. I, it sounded like there was a little fire burning in here the, from the beginning to the very end. I mean, that, that thing, it made a lot more noise than produced scent for sure. Uh, and, but it was very nice. It was like having a little crackling fire going all the time. So loud, but I liked it. Here's a Bath and Body Works candle. It came out, I think, last year or the year before or something. Coconut Cabana. Really pretty uh, wraparound design, decoration on that with a light, sort of a light pink and a very rich green. It was a very lovely green colored wax. Also, no performance issues with this one. It performed fine. Uh, the scent says coconut cream, vanilla sandalwood, hint of, a hint of pineapple with essential oils. Um, it, it was not super, I mean, it was strong. It was okay. It was like a six. I mean, normal to me, like Bath and Body Works are like sevens and eights and sometimes higher, but I would say this was a six. Like I could definitely smell it, but not profoundly. And this does have, uh, it's a coconut scent. It's a coconut cream. Yeah, because it's definitely a vanilla. I mean, vanilla and coconut. And I'm not, what else did they say? Pineapple? I'm not really picking up any pineapple in here. It is just more of like a coconut cream vanilla. Maybe a little bit of a greenery scent, perhaps, to it a little bit. It was nice enough. I mean, I would get it again. I liked it. I was kind of tropical this month, in case you couldn't tell by now. Uh, then we tried this Essential Home brand, which I picked up at a thrift store. Tropical fruit scented candle with the um, different fruits there. It looks mostly like citrus fruits to me. Um, this was a sort of a salmon-y color. And it did soot a little bit, as you can see. Otherwise, the... Uh, performance is just a one wick so rather large for one wick 18 ounce kind of like a yankee candle style and yeah this one mm, 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 mm. yeah not really that great it uh the the scent is very generic um tropical fruit scent again I would say because the picture just says, oh, citrus, citrus, um, but it wasn't especially just citrus. It was very generic tropical fruit. That's that sort of pineapple, mango-y thing. Although the thing is this, this one to me didn't smell like actual fruit. This was a very, a much sweeter, more like a fruit punch or Kool-Aid, you know, tropical Kool-Aid kind of scent or something. Um, which would have been fine. It would have been okay, but it was very weak. Very weak. This was like a three, a four. You know, in the bathroom, I could smell a, a little bit out here in the main room or where any place in the main room, I'd put it pretty much, pretty much lost, not really there. So essential home. Yeah, I wouldn't go crazy about it. I mean, not that exciting. Another Bath and Body Works, uh, Sunny Lime. This is a recent incarnation here that just came out, or this particular incarnation just came out this year. Uh, fresh squeezed lime juice, white peppercorn, bright bergamot with essential oils. 
a good performing candle, just a tiny little bit of soot, but that's really my fault. I don't ever trim the wicks, really, unless they're out of control. This one I liked. Um, I'm going to say, well, disappointed, maybe disappointed isn't right. It was, again, it was about a six, and I would love for it to have been like a nine, because I really do like this scent. It's a very, it is a very nice citrusy lime scent, really really nice there's a bit of like a greenery in there as well it's a very bright and not not like limeade or super sweet but more like a kind of a, like a refreshing lime beverage that wasn't super super sweet very nice candle this one um and i wish i wish it had been stronger because i i did really like it I would get it again for sure. And as far as the full size candles go, uh, the last one here was one I got on clearance at TJ Maxx for only, the price is like worn off of it. I think it was 10, I think it was $10. It's a big, big and big old candle. Um, from Sand and Fog is the brand uh the night is the night the scent is havana nights just white pretty lid you can also use it as a drum when it's empty to perform your evening rituals um this one yeah it's just uh it's a pleasant scent it's sort of a a ocean i get like a an ocean ambiance here a little bit of like salt water or something and then there's something sort of musky too um it doesn't have scent line a uh, description on it. i've been told it's uh oh cigars right because or tobacco because havana and cigars obviously so that makes sense when i smell it yeah that sort of mustiness could definitely be a tobacco note. It does, yeah, a little bit. You know that, uh, it is, that uh, flower, the flower, the candle from Bath and Body Works a while ago, tobacco flower. I really liked that one. And it it does, it is reminiscent of that slightly in that uh, that tobacco or mus musky sort of scent with a little bit of, I don't know, nighttime air or ocean air or something. It was nice. It wasn't super strong either, uh, but it was adequate. I mean, it was like a five. Sometimes it was a six. It's a three wick white wax. Uh, this one I did have to foil quite often, like not 100% of the time, but probably like 50% of the time. Um, for quite a while when it started, um, I would have to foil it before it would pull all the way out and I didn't want to blow it out before it had pulled all the way out because then you have problems forever if it really is like that so this one was okay and I would get you know I would get more from them especially at clearance I mean like 10 bucks for this giant candle is very good yeah now I have a couple of small things um I went through, I have a set of these, they're holiday candles, but the scents are not holiday at all. So it was just a marketing thing, but they're little ones that I burned in the lantern. This one is Winter Magnolia. I don't even know who this is from. It doesn't even say, but it was to be sold in Walmart. It came together in a little Walmart, to be sold in Walmart package. I'll probably put this on the burner and let, cause it had, it put itself out, but there is some more wax in here. <coughs> Very nice scent, definitely true to magnolia. I grew up in South Carolina. I am familiar with magnolia blossoms. And this is that scent. It's a beautiful scent. They're very dirty trees, by the way. They just, they make a mess. They really do, but it's, it's a beautiful flower. Great big giant things. Yeah, and that's what they smell like. I, they don't bloom in the winter. I, winter magnolia, I don't know, yeah. Um, I went through a Sensationals Flirtatious uh, clamshell of wax. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't even know how to describe this because it's certainly not like a food or something, but it's, it's a, 
it's very it's borderline sweet it's not sweet but it's like starting to head in that direction it's like going from something spicy into something sweet I want to say there are spices, maybe like a little cardamom. Also maybe kind of a flannel-like sort of scent. Like literally flannel. I don't know, it's a pleasant scent, uh, but I don't really know what it's supposed to be. And it was quite strong. It was stronger than most of the candles I was burning, actually. I'd say it was like a seven. It was pretty strong. Finally, uh, this little tiny candle here, I burned it in a lantern, got it at Savers for 99 cents, was a, a DW Home, yeah, DW Home Watermelon Fresca. I never get watermelon candles because I like watermelon, but I never think like, I want to smell watermelon. I don't know why, but I never, that never hits me ever that I say, oh, I, I want a watermelon scent. But I do love to eat watermelon. But, uh, this little tiny candle, I'm going to tell you, was stronger than any of the other candles I burnt this month. I put that thing in the lantern and it out through everything else that was burning in the apartment. You know, I could smell it lying on the bed. I could smell it walking around, looking at my records. I could smell this little candle in that little lantern all over the place. So kind of amazing and it was very nice and it was just a nice fresh watermelon scent um, you know watermelon aquatic kind of scent and the, the fruit melon fruit really was nice i would you know if i see one i'd probably get a large one in this just to check it out see if this was just a fluke um but it was very strong yeah, that's it. Those are my candles for the month of uh, July. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Give the video a thumbs up. Supposedly it helps with, uh, you know, your video showing up in other people. I don't really even care about all that. Like, whatever. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, don't. Like, but anyway, <laughs> subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I hope everybody's doing well and taking care. I know we in Hawaii are going through like an insane increase in the, in the uh, you know what here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's not as many people are being hospitalized and whatnot, but I guess a lot of people who haven't uh, gotten a poke and uh, are mostly the cases. But I've actually had, um, I know of some people who've been vaccinated, who've been hospitalized so it's it's kind of I'm not really scared scared but I mean I'm just a little bit like whoa this is weird um I hope we figure this out anyway you guys all take care and uh we'll see you in the next video